it is currently 3.03 in the morning. Now when I make a video at 3 o'clock in the morning with this hoodie and this do-rag on, you guys know I'm about to spit some real stuff. And this is straight off the dome. I'm gonna try to do this in one take if possible because I really don't feel like editing and I want to get this video up tomorrow at noon. But that's kind of what this video is about. You already read the title of this video, so you probably have a general sense of what I'm about to talk about. Now, recently I made a video called I've Been Struggling, and to spare you the 18 minutes or however long that video was, basically I was saying that I have been focused on the wrong things. And being a YouTuber, for as much as I love it, it can be very stressful in a lot of ways. And it has this way, especially for me, of taking over your life if you allow it to. And I've allowed YouTube to become the central focus of my life. And that's backwards. That's backwards. Because YouTube is supposed to be an extension of me, not the other way around. I existed before this YouTube channel, well before this YouTube channel was even an idea. So I shouldn't place my self-worth or my value into my channel and whatever numbers I'm generating. Now, here's the thing. I'm not fully enamored by the numbers. That's not the main reason why I'm taking a break from YouTube. I feel like I'm getting so focused on YouTube that I'm neglecting myself. Now recently I did an amazing live stream with care for rami which you guys should all check out. It's four hours long, four hours of great value and great vibes. But in that live stream, one of the things that we talked about was building that foundation. Building a foundation on which you can build. The building that you want to live in or the building that you want to enjoy the view from. Now. I feel like lately I've been getting a little bit ahead of myself in terms of building up that building and my foundation isn't fully complete. I think that there's a lot of things that I've been dealing with that I've been kind of brushing off to the side or normalizing when in reality I deserve much, much better. I deserve a better experience. For example, I've been dealing with a herniated disc in my back for like a year now. and. I've normalized the idea of not being able to walk half a mile without being in excruciating pain. That's something that I've become so accustomed to because I've been so focused on work that I haven't been taking the time to do the exercises that I'm supposed to be doing at home because I'm so focused on YouTube and making these videos. And don't get me wrong, I love making videos. I really, really, really enjoy doing this. That's why I'm making this video right now. It's because I love to update you guys. I love to take you guys along with me on this journey. But at this point, what journey is there to take you guys on? My life revolves around YouTube. And YouTube has done some great things for me. YouTube has done some very great things for me. But YouTube at the end of the day is a platform YouTube is not the central focus. It is the platform through which I share my inner growth with the world. And clearly you guys resonate enough with that inner growth to subscribe to my channel and watch videos like this one where I'm just basically rambling about my life. Now, if you guys have been watching my spoken word videos recently, you've probably noticed that trend of the battle between the ego and the soul. And that's for a reason. That's a theme that I covered with intention because that's something that I've struggled with for the majority of my YouTube journey. I feel like I fall into these cycles where I get caught up in the numbers and I stress myself the hell out and I start having anxiety and I start just struggling really badly and I try to work my way through it but then I realize that I can't work my way through it and I have to surrender to the universe I just have to have faith and live in the moment and enjoy my life and every time I do that every time I come to that realization my channel blossoms 
I'm talking about clockwork. It's just like clockwork. I made a video a while back called Why I Love Anxiety, I'm pretty sure. And in that video, I was basically saying that every time I start having anxiety, that's an indication that my channel is about to grow or that I'm undergoing some major inner growth that will reflect itself in my channel. And I was right. I was 100% right. But I feel like I feel like the thing is with anxiety and with dealing with the pressures of being a YouTuber. The pressure is all self-imposed. I feel like I place way, way too much emphasis, way too much value and importance on this platform. And I identify with it in many ways, which that's not a good thing. YouTube is supposed to be a part of my identity, not the entirety of my identity. Who am I without YouTube? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I've used YouTube to help me find myself and I'll continue to do so. But I just feel like my priorities are not in the right place. Right now, I feel like I need to be focused on my physical health, getting my back to a place where I can live like a normal 21 year old without having back problems and just being able to go out places and enjoy myself. There's been times when I took my girl out on dates and we had to leave early because I was in that much pain like to the point where I can't really walk and that's not okay that's not okay and not only that but I'm over here paying for these physical therapy visits and it's like yeah it's helping but I'm only gonna get out of it what I'm willing to put into it and I've been neglecting myself and in addition to that I've also been having breakouts with my skin Obviously, my face is clear, but I've been having eczema breakouts, which one thing that I've realized about that is stress tends to be a very, very major cause of my skin breaking out. It's a very good indicator that I need to slow things down. And funny enough, I've been reading this book called The Power of Positive Thinking recently, and I just finished a chapter where he was talking about going with the pace of the universe. Or in the book, he said going at God's pace, but I perceive it as going with the pace of the universe. Not trying to rush things, not placing unnecessary, arbitrary pressure on myself and on the universe to bring my vision into fruition. I feel like there's a certain level of faith that you have to have in order to get to the place that I want to get to. But the greatest display of faith is living in the moment because it shows that you don't have to sit there and monitor everything that's going on in your life. You don't feel like you need to capitalize off of your momentum as if this is the last time your channel is ever going to grow the way that it's growing. I'm just getting started and I should start acting like it. I need to move at a pace that's sustainable. And that's not to say that I'm not going to come back to posting six videos a week with the live stream on the seventh day. But for right now, I need to place my priorities in the places that really, truly matter. Recently, I started doing consultations via Wizio, and I love it. I love doing consultations because even though it's kind of the same thing as me making videos, it allows me to connect with you guys one on one. And that's something that really puts things into perspective for me. When you have 81,000 subscribers, it's easy to get lost in that number. You just see it as 81K people. You don't understand the gravity of 81,000 individuals. You don't understand the gravity of one individual, how you might have impacted one person, and how many people they might have impacted. The value in my existence and in my words cannot be quantified in one number. And I shouldn't feel so pressured to build that number up because that's really all capitalizing off of momentum means on YouTube. It's just trying to build up that number. It's all about numbers. And as I've said in the past, if you're chasing numbers, you're never going to be happy. You're never going to be fulfilled. And that's the cycle that I see in myself now. And especially my spoken word, the great divide was talking about 
this cycle that I have where I get lost. I get lost in my ego and then I surrender, as I explained earlier, and then my channel blossoms. And once my channel starts to blossom, I want to capitalize off of the momentum and I get lost in my ego again. And the cycle continues and it's kept happening over and over and over again. And I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I need a break. Now, I'm talking as if I'm about to take a month off of YouTube or something like that. That's not going to happen. I don't know that that's ever going to happen, if I'm being honest with you guys. But there are going to be some changes to this channel. So right now, like I said earlier, I'm posting six videos a week, Monday through Saturday, and I'm live streaming on Sundays. Where this is going to change is I'm probably going to post Monday through Friday, but two of those videos are going to be short videos. So really, I'm only posting three regular length videos every single week. This is a pace that I know for sure is very, very sustainable because I did it earlier this year and I found myself with a lot of free time. But I feel like I didn't use that free time in the most efficient way and I didn't really make the progress that I could have made as far as building that foundation in terms of my health, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, all of those things. And this will allow me to build myself up such that when I move out into my own apartment, which I'm moving out in November, so I have a good few months where I'm going to implement the schedule. But when I move out in November, I'm going to be a completely different person. I want to be healthy. I want to feel good every single day. Forget about looking good. Forget about looking good. That doesn't matter when you don't feel good. And I promise you, I promise you, that, that is coming from experience. Because I'm just tired, bro. Like, I'm tired of living like this. And I know that I deserve better. And I mean that in every aspect but it's on me to make that change and to detach. For as much as I talk about detaching and focusing on yourself, working on yourself, I'm out here just focusing on YouTube more than I focus on myself. And that's not right. That's backwards. So, like I said, I'm going to be posting five times a week. I'm still going to stream on Sundays, but two of those videos, probably on Tuesdays and Thursdays, will be short videos. I know that some of you guys like short videos more than you like long videos. Other people like long videos more than you like short videos. So now you're gonna get a good mix of both. And if this is still too much for me, then I'm going to lessen it even more than that. And will this affect my money? Yes, it probably will. But you can't buy peace of mind. And yes, money helps in terms of having good health, but as my money's increased, guess what? My health has stayed more or less the same, if not gotten worse. And that's on me for allowing the money and allowing the momentum to stress me out the way that it has. So you guys know I like to be vulnerable. I like to be transparent with my videos because I never know who might be going through the same problems that I'm going through. Or maybe one day, one of you watching this might go through the same problems that I'm going through. And you'll be able to come back to this video. And whenever I am where I am at that time, you'll be able to see how far I've come since today. And yeah, that, that's pretty much all I have.